Okay, we're doing expected value, and you can find that on page 441. This is 7C, unit 7C. And assuming you have a series of values and their corresponding probabilities, <clears throat> the expected value is the uh, probability sub 1 times uh, value sub 1 plus probability sub 2 times value sub 2 and so on. And so our question for 7-1 is, you are given 12 to 1 odds against drawing two hearts when two cards are selected at random from a deck of 52 cards with replacement of the first card before the second card is drawn. This means that you win $12 if you succeed and you lose a dollar if you fail. Find the expected value of the game. So, there's uh, your probability of drawing a heart in a deck of 52 cards is one-fourth, but we're going to draw two hearts uh, and we're going to replace the card every time we draw. So, the product of one-fourth and one-fourth is one-sixteenth. So, the probability of not drawing a heart is one minus one-sixteenth, which is fifteen-sixteenths. So these are our probabilities and the values. You're going to give up twelve dollars, or you're going to win twelve dollars if you draw uh, two hearts. You're going to lose a dollar if you don't. So the expected value is one sixteenth of twelve dollars minus fifteen sixteenths of one dollar. Well, we've got a common denominator, so twelve minus fifteen is uh, negative 3, and in decimal form, that is, you're going to lose uh, 19 cents. That's the expected uh, value, and that's C. Now, for number 2, we've got uh, values and their corresponding probabilities, and uh, so we're going to find the expected value of these things and uh, by multiplying the probability times the uh, dollars, probability times the dollars, and so on. And when we do that, we come up with an expected uh, win of $0.5638. Uh, but we are going to uh, minus one dollar because we're going to give up a dollar and we're going to multiply this whole thing times 365 because we're doing this every day of the year uh, for 365 days. And so when we compute this, by the way, uh, uh, point five six three eight dollars minus one is minus point four three six two dollars times three sixty five is a negative one hundred and sixty dollars so our choice is C and again you can see that on page uh, uh, four uh, forty one mm -hmm. and now for three And this is an interesting question. What's going on here is a bus arrives at a bus stop at 10 a.m. 10 minutes past 10 and 11. You arrive at the bus stop at random times between 10 and 11 every day, so all arrival times are equally likely. Find your expected waiting time for the bus. So what we have is... Uh, if you were the probability of arriving in the first 10 minutes is uh, 1 over 6 because there are 6 10 minute periods in an hour. The, remain the other probability of, of uh, arriving sometime after the first 10 minutes is 5 6 because you've got 5 10 minute, 5 remaining 10 minute periods in an hour. Now, the uh, average waiting time is going to be uh, 5 minutes for the first 10 minutes, 
25 minutes, in other words, 50 divided by 2 for the second uh, uh, if you arrive after the first 10 minutes. So the expected value is 1, 6 times 5 plus 5, 6 times 25. Uh, and the sum of those is uh, 130 over 6, which when you uh, uh, divide uh, equals approximately 21.7 minutes. So that's your average waiting time. Now for 4, when tossing a fair coin, which of the following events is more likely? And for this, you have to see the law, law of large numbers on page 434. And uh, the more times you toss the coin, the uh, closer the actual probability will come to the uh, theoretical probability. So when tossing a fair coin, which of the following events is more unlikely? And it turns out it's C, because getting 60% tails on a thousand tosses is very unlikely. You'll get closer to 50% because the th theoretical probability is 50%. So C. And you'll see that law of large numbers on page 439. Now let's go to part 2.